<sighs> the funny part about society how they get you to subscribe to their opinions their fascist opinions about who you should be being at any given time about what you should believe about reality about uh, how you should even be walking down the street you got all these suppositions to subscribe to their their opinions to their to that bullshit and the more you try the more you look like an idiot is the funny part <laughs> so we see we have all of you guys doing that and looking like a bunch of fucking idiots uh you know nowadays also not coughing properly that's the most form of a form of moral appropriacy. <laughs> I got two teeth pulled the other day. Don't fucking give me some shit. <coughs> Most of you guys will do this. <coughs> no wonder you're all fucking dying. This is the best you can do. No wonder you're all dying. Get the coronavirus. How are you supposed to protect yourself now that you can't even fucking cough anymore, you fascist old fuck? Subscribe to each other's opinions. What's it gonna take? Stop doing that stupid bullshit all the time, as every individual besides me, so it seems. <coughs> well, this society is this type of thing where it per it's perfectly, perfectly set up to rob people of all the important things that exist inside oneself so that you only could end up subscribing to everyone else's opinion. And I, I know Mushrooms talks all about don't serve other people's opinions, but they're not going to teach you how to fully do that. There's so many things that go into not serving other people's opinions, and that's why also this society is perfectly set up to fuck us over, because it's perfectly set up in every single corner of our lives. <sighs> perfectly assimilated to live inside of a box built by a prison designer, perfectly assimilated to send your children into a Nazi concentration camp to be string cheesed, incidented into a <laughs> floppy mess at the other side, fucking spaghetti. A uh, puddle, a puddle of spaghetti. Uh, I mean, how many people haven't taken acid nowadays? The new, the new synthetic on this planet. I bet the average woman nowadays has literally taken a hundred doses, at least. Just tell, oh, party, next party, oh, partying again, oh, party, yeah, this guy, this guy with the fucking creepy old demeanor, fucking disgusting old fucking attire, uh, uh, complexion, I never forget, and, uh, well, that I want to forget, anyways, and, uh, and he's got ass, and, oh, ooh, that's tempting. You guys know 
It's of utmost importance to trust the source of your bruise, your self-transformation materials. You get some materials for self-transformation, you're just gonna use them on yourself, regardless of what they do or what they look like, or what it's freaking all was that was going down in the context of the time. Are you just trying to be someone who other people find worth being around? If you don't already have that, why are you changing yourself to find it? Why are you changing yourself to find happiness or to find that your friends like you? It's the same reason you drink coffee, but that's less destructive against your psyche to do so. <coughs> Why do you drink alcohol? Well, what it does is it removes your care on higher levels. It removes your care. Your care branches just burns them. They're gone. Oh, oh, now I feel like I can do everything, dude. Now I feel strong as wind. Oh, God, man, check it out. We're gonna take down the president. I'm sorry. Right. Um. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, that's yes. I'm just pretending to be Joe. Um. It removes your care in higher levels, which makes you be an asshole accidentally when you want when you want to be good When you want to be a good person when you finally find a good person that's worth being around and the reason that you keep being an asshole and can't Understand why Well, you know, it's certainly most likely a Alcohol, but it's also demons it's Just kind of a they go together demons and alcohol. Yeah. That's exactly like the correlation. It's basically a one-to-one. -one. Drink a shot, gain a demon. And it's the assimilated action to do when around people at all, enjoying life. Enjoy life by integrating demons. Works for me. All I care about is getting that pussy, you know what I'm saying? about what people are thinking. So, you know, you're not giving a fuck attitude. It's just fucking move on with your shit. Start fucking doing shit right, you fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! <sighs> I bet none of you are going to at ever, at any point in your life, experience Sending yourself beyond yourself. Using just yourself, not any material on this planet. is isn't just yourself to send yourself beyond yourself. To the point where you might have a brain hemorrhage, but that's kind of, you know, it's like the reason I had the hemorrhage when, when this force myself through the world thing happened. I was doing Rage Against the Machine Screamo for a few hours, which I've been doing for the last three years. And, uh, well, basically it was like my ego, like remaining ego problems made me strain my voice, made me strain too much blood to my brain. So it was more of an accident. Something that necessarily, shouldn't necessarily have happened. But, um, it literally totally removed like 10, <laughs> a bunch of different life curses that have literally consumed my entire life. 
It's like, inherited curse is gone. And I just literally committed myself to fighting for the world on such a level that I almost fucking, like, well, I almost had, it was weird, I like, freaking skipped a moment and ended up on the ground. And it was like, I was consciously doing one thing, but in fact I was falling over to lie on the ground while pushing on the inside of this car door. Long wow, story. Uh, point being, oh, there's so much more to life than we, we teach each other, and that's the main thing. We're always holding back the good information from each other or only giving bad information to each other to negatively afflict each other's consciousness, psyches, psychologies. Uh, sense of reality. Sense, your, most importantly, your sense of reality. Um, so that you think that this world ain't really all that much. It's just this fucking sort of basically hell world that we all just kind of got to get along with. Nope. You're just stuck in a place and, well, incidentally letting your desires keep you stuck around. Your material desires where you're not, you haven't risen above life yet to fight for something that Anything, you, you, we're all these mm, lukewarm, mediocre, aiming, gray slaves. And that's what the world forces around us so that they can literally be around us at all. That's the old fucking pedophiles that they are. Uh, or even get into a, your fucking women my age's fucking pants. By paying them, by fucking, oh, uh, oh, he's famous, oh. <sighs> pay me, yes, pay me, I'll do anything. I've done it so many times. You might as well get it, just let me stay. <laughs> and, and you know, um, while the world ended, in the prime of my life, to find the power to be a stand up com comedian, musician. Right, the fucking world ends because you're also schizophrenically retarded and you had to fucking go along with it for so long and enforce it yourselves because you media, media friendly fucking goddamn gods told you to do so. Ooh. Wow, a news station told me to put a diaper on my face. Like, it was a good idea. For two years. Let's do it for two years. Oh, it was gonna be this long. Oh, it was gonna take this long. <laughs> well, analyze it. Analyze it in the first place. No, you didn't know it's gonna take the song and it's gonna disappear. It's gonna disappear at some point. It's gonna disappear so it's a good decision to endlessly, aimlessly put a diaper on your face to your straight while you go, I'll go fucking brain dead, completely fucking brain dead, and no wonder we're losing so much capacity as fucking population of being people that are ever worth being around or ever even close to having the possibility to become worth being around. Um, uh, I'm fine. You guys having fun? Oh, fun. It's a good time. It's a good time. Mm. At least I found the power to fucking be famous. And fucking... Just watch you guys be jealous of me, you fucking faggots. You wanna see me fall, huh? You like seeing me fall? It's funny. It's funny to you guys in the fall. I get that. So, you don't have to do everything, everything, every single possible action to try to sabotage me as well. You don't have to do everything else to try to sabotage me as well, you fucking demons.
You're going to hell, I get it. You got nothing to lose, but... What do you think you're doing, dude? You think you're making yourself cool? You think you're making yourself look cool and you fucking be a fucking asshole? Fucking be condescending? Be the person who doesn't give the benefit of the doubt? Hmm. Hmm. It must be worth being around. I'm way more worth being around than someone who's clearly a good, nice person and actually cares about people. But enjoy your fucking little sick game, you fucking idiots. It's where hell comes from. It's where you go to hell. It's how you go to hell. Good, jo good job. Good luck. I'll, uh, I'll keep tabs on you. You fucking idiots.